This is just a quick little video on some uh, computers I picked up in the uh, rubbish collection. I love rubbish collections. If I lived near a tip, my house would just be full of computer parts. So we've got two. Uh, we've got black case and white case, or beige case. This one's a Pentium 4 3.2. Still turns on. There's, the only thing I can see wrong with it is that someone somehow managed to snap out one of the USB ports. Now you might ask yourself, how on earth does that happen? How do you snap out a USB port? Honestly, I'm not sure. It would take a lot of, uh, a lot of effort. Let's just have a look, a quick look at what sort it is. Get all the model numbers and things. There we go, completely out of focus. Oh, I'm too close, so I've got to zoom. Now yeah, it's got three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, two 512s and a pair of one gigs. No hard drive sadly, so I can't do much with them because I have no spare hard drives at the moment. Odd thing, odd thing. But uh, let's have a look at that model there. We've got an Intel chipset 865PE. So we'll come back to that. Uh, physically, the computer seems to be okay. It's got, oh, look at that rainbow fan. Isn't that just the best thing ever? I love those rainbow fans. Don't know where we'd be without them, honestly. Uh, pretty basic ports on the back, got a few cards. There is firewire on this USB card with the broken, broken thing down the bottom. It's got a modem, wow. So this one's got a modem as well. This one, oh, it's a beauty. Warranty was till 2005 or three. It was checked in 2000 and it was a, uh, oh, let's have a look. Now it's got blown caps or bulging caps all over the main board, so turning it on is probably a bad idea. But that's exactly what I did, because I don't care. Diamond Dart, I used to have one of those. Many, 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 many years ago. Let's have a look here. So I've got bulging caps all over the place. Got to do something about that. Gets a little angry at me. But it's a uh, Duron 650. With uh, ooh, 393 megabytes of RAM. So we could do something with it, I don't know what yet, but I'll have a look around. Uh, worst case, we just set it on fire. That's always a good thing to do with the old Durons, they have no uh, thermal protection, so it'll just go up in smoke. <laughs> then again, so would the Pentium 4 probably. But there you go, ooh, look at that, CDRW, I wonder if these things still work. That is a beautiful looking PC. This one looks much better though. Much better. Just like new. Oh well, thanks for watching. That's what I found in the rubbish. Gotta love rubbish collections. Video cards are absolute rubbish. <laughs> As to be expected, given this machine is now... Well, it'd be 16 years old. Yikes. That's old. It's about as old as my Athlon, my old Athlon 500. I originally wanted an Athlon 650, but they didn't have stock of anything except the 500s. Which, funnily enough, was actually, when I took it apart, took the chip apart, or the cartridge, and the uh, slot A, I think it was, turned out it was a downclock 650. Only I had a golden finger to stick on the top. Oh well, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll be back with more videos shortly. Yeah, and we'll just power on it. We don't want to run it for too long because it'll probably eventually catch fire.